James Tedesco is the 2019 Delhi and medalist. He was crowned Player of the Year for the first time, three votes ahead of Melbourne Storm captain Cameron Smith. It's been a remarkable year for Tedesco, who has also won the Wally Lewis medal for the State of Origin Player of the Series and the Brad Pittler medal for the New South Wales Player of the Year. While the next goal is another Premiership medal on Sunday, he's not getting too carried away despite being a favourite to also win the Clive Churchill medal for the best player in the decider. Uh, yeah, it'd be good. Um, I mean, as I said, though, we've got so many good players in our team. If we all do our job, then, uh, then who knows who could receive that award. But um, as I said, I think all our focus is to play our best game of the year and you know, leave nothing in the tank. So... Um, Mate, this is the, the one goal is to win the game and then um, congrats to whoever can win that award. Craig Bellamy was crowned coach of the year while Storm skipper Cam Smith was captain of the year. 19-year-old Payne Haas was rookie of the year 2019 while Dragon Jessica Sergis took home the woman's top goal. Geelong's Tim Kelly has officially requested a trade to West Coast. The Cats are likely to play hardball with their negotiations with the Eagles given Kelly's star power, but the panel on trading day say West Coast should do whatever it takes to land him. So I think at some stage they think to themselves, we've got one, one day we've got a centre square bounce situation where Nick Natanui <laughs> run, taps the ball to either Shuey on one side or this bloke on the other side. I think they realise whatever the price, it's absolutely worth it. He's only just 25. He's got seven amazing years for him. There's nothing in this draft that's between 11 and 35. Let's be honest. So Tim Kelly, you, yeah. No, no, no. There's nothing like no. this. So maybe you no. take the three picks. If, if it costs you two picks, yeah. costs you three picks, yeah. it doesn't really matter. I mean, this guy's going to come in. We've seen his, his durability already, which is something that I think is often understated. He just plays every week. He can play high half forward, as he did in the final series. He's just, he's just quality. That's you just get him. You just pay whatever you have Absolutely. To. That's why I think for West Coast, those three picks, I don't think it'll bother them at all. They're getting an absolute bona fide star. And as you said, they can use picks down 50, 60, 70 to take a couple of kids, but they're going to be right in that premiership window again. A world record knock from Alyssa Healy has led Australia to a T20 series clean sweep of Sri Lanka after yet another massive victory at North Sydney Oval. Healy posted the highest ever women's T20 innings of 148 off just 64 balls as Australia won by 132 runs. Sri Lanka finished on 7 for 94 from their 20 overs. Nicola Carey leading the way with 3 for 15 off her 4 overs. It was the Healy show from the outset as she smashed the Sri Lankan bowling to all parts of the ground, hammering 7 sixes and 19 fours to notch her first T20 century before going on to break teammates Meg Lanning's world record. The chance here to record the fastest century by an Australian. And she's done it. And she's done it in style. Her maiden international T20 100. And it's a sublime knock from Elisa Healy. This is a big over, 22 runs off it. And there is the world record and how appropriately it's with a six take a bow Elisa Healy you have been superb Sri Lanka offered little resistance in reply Nicola Carey was the pick of the bowlers with her three wickets Australia cruising to a series clean sweep